Hello everybody, my name is Raj Wadwani, I'm the President of Contact Centre World and welcome to this online event about how to get published on Contact Centre World. Please enjoy the presentation. Here's the agenda for today's session. We're going to talk about Contact Centre World in just 60 seconds. We're then going to talk about why get published on our website, some options, cover some do's and don'ts, We'll take you through some demos and we'll also give you some updates about other event features to consider. Lastly, we'll finish with some frequently asked questions. So let's start off with a very short video which is pre-recorded about Contact Centre World in 60 seconds. Welcome to Contact Centre World in 60 seconds. My name is Raj Wadwani. We are the Global Association for Contact Centre and Customer Engagement Best Practices. Established back in 1999, we now have over 200,000 members worldwide. You can connect with these members, you can chat and email with them. Our website is updated daily with the latest news, articles, tips, jobs and much more. We also run the most prestigious and the biggest industry awards programmes. We've been doing this for 15 years and in that time over 75 nations have competed. We have amazing business tools like Top Place to Work for employee engagement, Rate Our Service for customer engagement and What Drives You Crazy at Work. We also have benchmarking data from award-winning contact centers around the globe. We also run the highest rated industry events live and online. If you're already a member, thank you for your support. If you're not, join today for free. So now you've heard about us in 60 seconds, and I apologize if it seemed a bit fast, but it, it is in 60 seconds. Let's talk about why get published on contactcenterworld.com. Well, there's a, a number of reasons. We have over 200,000 professional members worldwide. So it's a brilliant captive audience for you to get information in front of. We are also the go-to source for top professionals around the world. So when people are looking for information on contact centers, customer experience, customer service, employee engagement, technologies, we're the go-to source for, for them. So they come to us. We also offer a free service to all members. So for you, it means that you can post content on Contact Center World without having to pay for any fees. There are options available, but you can also take advantage of this free service and as a, an organization goes we with our 200,000 members we also make the content that is published on contact center world available to them all there's no restrictions on what members have access to when it comes to news articles case studies and such like we also share content on our newsletters and on social media. So we have our Facebook group page, we have LinkedIn, we have Twitter, we have Instagram. We also share interesting content that we receive with our subscribers on those channels. And every company that is in the contact center space that has a page on Contact Center World, which is the majority, we also add any content we publish for you onto your company page and we'll have a look at that in a short while. Now let's take a look at some of the things that you can actually publish on Contact Center World. News items. We publish press releases about customer wins, new contact centers, new products, enhancements, new hires, good news stories, contact centers closing, a whole range of different news items relating to contact centers and customer engagement all around the world. We also accept articles and papers. These are opinion pieces about best practices, about some of the latest findings or um, opinions. And when it comes to research, we also love to publish highlights and comments about what's happening in the industry. So if you have some research, you want to share that with our members, you can post that as well. Case studies is another area. This is kind of underutilized by a lot of organizations. You have case studies, you can actually publish those on Contact Center World. So our members can read about how your clients are using your solutions. You can have personal blogs as well as company blogs. So personal blogs will be down to an individual, which is I 
Raj Rudwani have my own personal blog. I can also have a company blog which is Contact Centre World's company blog. So these are options for you as well. You can also post jobs for free. So again another opportunity for you to get information out there when you're looking for staff, you're looking for those new top performers for your contact center or your business, maybe sales, marketing, customer service, you can also post those for free. Now I mentioned earlier on company pages and we're going to have a quick look at some company pages. Earlier on we mentioned content is added to your company pages and I'll, I want to talk about company pages for just a moment. Here, I'm going to share with you a couple of examples. Here's the Avaya company page on Contact Centre World and the web address is contactcentreworld.com forward slash company forward slash avaya.aspx. So every company has a company page. What's really unique about these company pages is that we show you all the group members we have for that company so you can see who is active on Contact Center World, where they're located, we show country flags, we show you photos that they've had published, In some cases we show you their stock value, a stock price on the right hand side, we also show you comments that they've actually had when they've entered different award programs. I'm going to look at another company here. This is Teleperformance. We also have photos that they've shared. We have press releases, articles, and much more, which I'll come on to in a moment. And we also have in the, we also have uh, options for our members to like pages, to share them, also to submit feedback directly to each of these companies. So if a member wants to give feedback to Teleperformance, they can go to the top right-hand corner and click on Submit Company Feedback, and we'll pass that feedback on to Teleperformance. And when it comes to things like news, here's an example of Jabra, a headset company. If you look on the right hand side, there was a section for company news. So any news we publish for Jabra also gets added automatically to their company page. So if I am a professional and I come across Jabra's web page, I can see who their contacts are. I see they've got 39 members that are members of Contact Center World and what I can do is read all their latest news if I think they're interesting I want to talk to them I can read more about the company on the left hand side there's an overview and there's also a link to visit their web page so it's like a it's like a Facebook like a LinkedIn company page but on Contact Center World so we make it nice and easy and to show you what the news looks like, here's another example of one of the news items we just, just saw on Jabra's page. It's 8x8 and Jabra Partner. So when I look at that information and click on that press release, I'm taken to more information. On the example you see here, this was posted April 20th. It mentions both organizations. It's got the press release. Halfway down the page, there's also a sponsored advert from one of our partners who want to appear in every single news item so we have that sponsored message but as you can see we're publishing the news and information for organizations all around the world now in terms of options you have I mentioned publishing content on contact center world is free there is absolutely a free service there is however a premium service and the premium service I'd just like to share with you a couple of quick items on what makes it different. You get mentioned in newsletters. We guarantee to include your content in our newsletters that goes out to members all around the world. You also have premium highlighted content and we'll show you that in just a moment. So it is highlighted as this is premium news. We will include web links as well. So if you have web links in your content, we will include that in the news items or the case studies or articles that you want to have promoted as premium. We also do not edit it. So if you share us news um, and it's free, you're using our free service, my team will go through and they may edit it down. They might change words or, or take out certain bits if you make references to stuff that we just cannot validate. If it is premium, we also flag it as sponsored and that means we will not edit it. So it's a great way to get that extra bit of information out there if you want to. I'd like to cover off some do's and don'ts when you're publishing content with Contact Center World. Firstly, here's some of the do's. Do submit online using our forms. If you send us an email and say, hey, here's our latest press release, or here's a, a PDF of some research, 
we will not do anything with it. For 15 years we've had direct web links for organizations to click on to submit their content. Please use them. It saves us time, saves you time and also means that my editorial team will be able to get your content a lot faster. If we get content from you sent by email occasionally, we, if we have time we'll get back to you and say hey we'd love to use it but we can't, here's a link. But don't rely on us. Okay, so use our online forms. Make sure you include other contacts who will be notified when it's published. Often we find with PR agencies, uh, and this is a good example, with PR agencies you're, you are tasked with submitting content for your clients. You submit it, then you have to go and find out, oh, was it actually used? Well, we will actually tell you if we use it. And it's also nice for you and your client if you include the contact details of people at your client who we should also alert to say we've just published their news. Saves you time, saves them time, also shows them very positively that you're actually acting on their behalf and getting their news and coverage info uh, out into the marketplace. When we publish your content, add a link back from your website to the piece to recognize our support of you. Okay, We do a lot for the industry and what we really appreciate is those companies who when we publish their articles or their news they actually put a link on their website to say hey we were published on Contact Center World and it links back to Contact Center World for anybody to see it. And also if you have a resources tab or resources page on your website just add a link to our website back to Contact Center World to say hey Contact Center World is a really useful resource. A few don'ts don't use words like industry leader, biggest, etc. unless you can back it up. Too many times we get press releases from organizations or we get articles saying, hey, the biggest, we're the best, we're the, the number one in the industry. If you can't back it up, we're going to edit that out. So please don't waste our time by putting information in there that you cannot substantiate. Do not include web addresses or links unless you pay for the premium service. My team have to go out, go through every single item that we have submitted for publishing and it frustrates us a little bit when we have to take out web links even from people who know exactly what they should do and they still continue to provide us with news items where it's got press links in there, sorry it's got um, web links in there that we have to take out. So please save us a bit of time by doing this. Now let's have a look at a demo. We're going to have a look at uh, several items on this demo. We're going to look at how you get to the links to publish news and then we're going to look at some news items and how to publish and also then where they appear on our website. Let's get started by looking at how you actually can submit content on Contacts in the World. There is a direct link to submit editorial. If you go to Tools, Submit Editorial and when you're on this page you are presented with different options of information that you can you can publish on Contact Center World. We have the ability to submit news, articles, case studies, research, customer service stories, interviews, job boards, blogs and upcoming industry events. And each one of these has a unique page. There is also another option and that is when you're on the home page of Contact Center World as I am now there is industry news featured at the top and there's a link here to click to post your news. So even if you're not on the submit editorial there is a link here to post your news directly and that takes you to the same page that we just looked at. Now let's go through some of the options in terms of submitting content. So we're going to have a look at how you do that. So when you go to submit content I'm going to use the link that we looked at earlier. I, there's a video at the top here that explains how we can actually give your content extra exposure. We can actually do a, a pre-recorded video announcement telling people about your content. We can include it in some newsletters as well. Further on down the page we also give you some information about options in terms of how you can market your business through Contact Center World. Remember we have over 200,000 members. Now, on this page, I'm going to go and click some Submit News. 
So this is where you can put information about new existing uh, contact centers, award wins, new staff, new technology. We actually state very clearly here, we do not publish news on webinars, book releases, white papers, upcoming events. Events can be posted separately, but if you send us a press release about a book release, we're not going to cover it. So let's go down to submit news. And when I go to submit news, I firstly have to agree to the terms. If you don't agree to this, you will not be able to submit any news. Then I can choose, do I want it free or do I want it full featured? Full featured means it gets included as a premium item, gets included in our newsletters and a lot more people will see it. And the cost of that is only $99 Canadian. So that's approximately $74. Uh, US, dollar, uh, US dollars. So you put your title in here, we've got some guidelines, you put a short description, we have a content box, we have a WYSIWYG editor here as well, or you can copy and paste from your content. There is an image uploader here, and you specify do you want it at the top, include at the bottom, do not include image, top left align, top right align, do you have some control over that? Now this next section is very very important. If you're the author, that's great. If you're not the author, for example, you might be a PR agency, so you put in there your client client's uh, details and you can put in their company overview and some other information. We do actually ask you to specify which country the news relates to because we do have information that goes out to members all over the world. And the last link here is your author category. Are you internal PR marketing person doing this on behalf of your company or are you a PR agency? Right at the very bottom we have an area where you can actually include the um, details of anybody you'd like us to notify when we publish it. So say for example you're doing this on behalf of a client and you want to show your client that you're getting published on Contact Center World, you can put their name in there, add their email address. Or if you want to let other colleagues know you've been published, put their names in there and their email address. If it's about an appointment, like a new person joining the company, just tick this box here and then we will actually classify it as what we call movers and shakers. There is a preview news button here which will show you what it looks like on our website and when you're ready, after you're happy with everything, click submit news. That then gets passed to our editorial team. They will review it, they'll make sure it meets our guidelines. If it does, it will get published. Earlier on, we also mentioned about premium news. One of the advantages of having your news upgraded to premium, which, as I mentioned earlier, was about 99 uh, Canadian dollars, it's about 76, uh, sorry, 74 US dollars, is that you also then get featured on a homepage as sponsored content. So here's a press release from a company, and they've announced their latest version of the software. It's on a homepage, and it will stay on there for a, a period of time. So here's some other sponsored contents. All sponsored content gets listed here. It is also included in our newsletters. So it's worth considering the, the small investment to get some really big results and big exposure. The main page of Contact Center World, which we're looking at now, this changes continuously throughout the day. So unless you're a sponsor, your news might appear on there for um, as a main feature for a small amount of time and then maybe later on that day it will be pushed down the list as we get more and more content coming through. This next area is how you can check the status of your submitted content. As long as you actually input your email address when you're submitting content we will send you an email to confirm when your content has been published. What we also have for you is the ability for you to check your published content at any time and I'll show you how we do that. Firstly you need to be logged in. When you're logged in and you see your profile picture what you can do is you can go down to my page which is the very first option. When you're on your page this is your page dedicated to you with all of the information we have on you so it has your contacts or your quick links, your membership status and much more. And right in the very first section, my links, there is a link to editorial submissions. When you click on that link, it will show you everything that we have 
had submitted by you for publishing and whether we published it. So on this page here, for example, I can see I've had information about award winners, um, all these different press releases, and these are all been published. So you can see on the right hand side, it says published. There is a link here to request unpublishing. And when you click that link, you have control over whether it um, disappears off the Contact Center World website. The other thing that we do have is we have down below here is what we call a static link. This, when you click on this link, it will actually show you what the news item is in the top of your browser. What you can do is copy that link, paste it on your website, tell everybody you are published on Contact Center World, and when they click on it, they get taken to that news item. Now, when it's published, this is what they typically look like. So we have an image, we have a main feature, we have a read more. We also show you how many views each item has had. So for example, this one which, which was published yesterday evening, SBI to hire 2,000 junior and mid-level executives to grow raw feed, uh, feed-based business. There is a read more here. When you click on that link, you get taken to the news item. So this is from India, tells you a bit about the company. There's a sponsor message in here. You can also pay to be a sponsor in the editorial. So if you're looking to promote a product or service. And then as you go down the page, we also put some more information where we got the news from. There are likes, you can like it, you can rate it up, you can show it, you can tweet it. And then what we also do is we have related editorial. So this is the State Bank of India. We've got more editorial from the State Bank of India and other related items as well. Now we'll have a look at some articles. So I'm going to scroll down the page. And articles we put under feature editorial. So this is where we put articles, research and many more items. This is featured. There is a link here to submit articles. When you click next, you can see other articles. There is also a link down here. You can see more articles. I'm going to click on that and we'll have a look. So on this page now, these are all the articles we've just recently published. Again, we show you numbers of views by members and when it was published and who it was published by. So as you scroll back maybe um, a week or so, you can see this one's had 481 uh, views. And if I want to read that article, I can click here. If I want to rate it up, I can click here or I can share it. If I click on share, I have options to share it on social media. We've also, we've also mentioned earlier about job boards, industry blogs. Here's some examples. So these are our job boards. So for job boards, we show you where the organization is based by country flag, the name of the organization, and what the, the opportunity is. So jobs are free to post. If you have a blog on Contact Center World, when you post content, we also share it with our members on our homepage. So it's a really good thing to do is to actually link your blog with our blogs so when you're posting it gets featured on contact center world and there is also a very good chance it gets featured in our newsletters and to post blog there's a link up here to post blog really straightforward you can post an individual blog as a person so here's my blog and i actually have a dedicated url which i can share with people this one here and i can say hey if you want to see my blog posts here's my link i get a chance of putting a title category and putting in my content and then I can post it. I can also upload photos and more information. And we give you some links as well. We actually have on Contact Center World the ability for you to put these blog links in your emails or on your website to say follow our blog on Contact Center World. It's a really, really useful thing to do. The last area I'd like to cover off and let you know about is that we actually run a lot of online events these days. And these are great opportunities for organizations to get involved, to be seen as uh, providers of content, best practices, knowledge, information on particular areas. And we cover all aspects of contact centers and customer experience. So for example, we have this event coming up, how to improve quality in your customer interactions. We're looking for speakers. We're looking for organizations who have some content to share. Maybe it's a, a presentation, 
or maybe it's us doing an interview with one of your um, one of your experts at your organization we have a whole range of conferences coming up performance management artificial intelligence workforce management training employee engagement home agent tech and environments and many more so if you want to get involved with us on those as well contact me we can look at interviews with top executives presentations but whatever you do they must all be non-commercial unless you're a sponsor so you can't do a presentation entirely about your product unless you're a sponsor and we will then flag it as this is a sponsored presentation moving on to frequently asked questions that we get asked do you have to be a member to post content yes you do however the good news is to become a member we have a free membership option which means you can post news at no cost can I get notified if it's published yes absolutely but you must include your email addresses um, for anybody we need to notify when you submit content if I pay for premium is my content guaranteed to be published not 100 percent if they if it's if we deem it to be in any way um, t misleading or obscene or or you know some of those traditional criteria which we cannot verify or we consider it's totally unsuitable for contact center world we will not publish it but otherwise if it's good content you pay for premium service yes can I pay by invoice for premium services no the whole value of uh, associated with premium services is that when you're submitting content you want to get it out there into the marketplace as quickly as possible so you pay by credit card online once that payment has been received we get notified the content gets flagged as premium we can deal with it almost immediately if you submit content to us and we post it and then you say oh can I pay by invoice it's too late so it's all about timing can I submit news in a different language yes we will accept news in other languages however what we would also appreciate is if you sent us a rough translation in English just so we can make sure that the content is appropriate thank you this event is now over however I will stay online for a few more minutes if you have any questions you can either send them directly to me by email or use the contact center world messaging tool or you can post a question using the online chat tool that we have still on the web page right now and I'll happily answer them we look forward to getting lots of content from you we are a great platform we have a fantastic audience so we look forward to seeing lots more information and I'll stay online for a couple of minutes to everybody who's got to go thank you for watching and we hope to see you again soon bye bye